Okay, so I typically don't talk in my YouTube videos and because uh, I don't feel like I'm very good at it. But today I'm working on a Can-Am Commander 1000. This is a 2012. Um, I believe they ran this model up until 2020 and now they've come out with a new one. But this is a KFI snowplow mount and I've seen tons of videos of the Can-Am Commander with a plow on it but I couldn't find any videos of how to actually mount this up. So today, I'm gonna to try to do a demonstration video of how it mounts up. Because that was probably the most frustrating thing I had while I was trying to look up a snow plow mount for my side by side. Okay, so first they tell you that we're gonna utilize these bolt holes down here, the little ones to the right and to the left are the big holes. And they tell you to remove your 10 millimeter bolts down here on the very bottom. There's one here and one here. We're gonna take them completely out and then we'll run our new bolts that they provide us, which are 10 millimeters, up through with the washer that they provide us with. Yes, I am using the instructions because, like I told you, I don't even know. So that, I'm hoping this video helps you. We'll hang on to the washers in case I need them later. You will need a drill bit and a drill because you will be drilling out your top holes. I recommend an electric drill unless you have a really good cordless drill because it might use a good bit of battery if you have dull bits, probably like I do. So now that we took those 10 millimeter bolts out, we're gonna place this up here, washer on the new ones that they provide you with. They are a little longer. Um, I may have to add washers to it because at some point in time, somebody else added washers onto the ones that are factory. But we'll see what happens here. Like I told you, they go through this small, little small holes here on the sides. That one there. And this one over here. Now you don't want to draw these up all the way tight because you're gonna need some movement to allow to get everything else aligned up. Okay, so there we go. We got both of these started. All right, so then from what I'm seeing here on the instructions, they're telling me I'm going to utilize the holes that are on the inside of the ones we just installed, and they come with these little brackets. Now I gotta go up behind this plate and drop them down in, and then we will run our bolt up through these on the other, on the, this side here. And I do believe that they demonstrate 
that they want to see this part going towards the machine so it's going to be the flat side against your metal bracket on the inside there and then of course you're going to turn it sideways like this in the machine because it's slotted like this I do have this on jack stands just to kind of make it a little easier. Hopefully I don't lose any nuts and bolts that they provide you. It's too late right now to get to a hardware store if I lose anything. I do have a winch on this already, which kind of makes it probably a little more difficult because if I was a betting man I would say that most people that buy a side-by-side -side probably do all this at one shot if they're putting a snow pile on they put the everything else on together okay so one thing I'm finding out right now is I'm having trouble getting this in here the way they demonstrate it i don't know if that's just my stupidity or poor design i'm going to try to flip it around and see what what occurs so that'd be the opposite way that i told you to do it. Yeah. I'm not going to run that up too tight because like, like I told you, we want to be able to get everything together. So let me just explain to you what was going on. So they demonstrate in the instructions that they want this against the flat plate in there with this facing back towards your driver's seat, really. And then you'd run your bolt up through this. Well, there's a flat plate in there that comes in like this, and you can't get this nipple in. So I had to turn it around like that. I don't know if different models are going to be different, but in my situation on this Can-Am, I got to put this nipple down through and then run my bolt this direction. If that's wrong, let me know in the comments. I don't know, but that's how I have to do on this because it's the only way it's working. I'm almost a little afraid that these might pull out. So later in the future, I might actually put a nut in there because it looks like it's recessed. It looks like it's recessed and shaped for a nut, but I'm not certain upon that. So. I'll research that and see what I can find out. I'm gonna to come to the other side here and attempt to do the same thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to because it's a little bit more tight. I have a different uh, cover on this side for the wench. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in that way. I'll have to come back to this side. Okay. So fit it in like this. I'm not certain if I'm going to try.
Now I'm gonna snug this up just a little bit here. snug up those 10 millimeter bolts again now that I got those ones in place they don't feel real great and they are fine thread so I wouldn't go real tight on them maybe just I don't know, I, until you just kind of feel like it's pretty snug. I don't, I don't feel like they're gonna come loose on you. If you're really uncomfortable about it, maybe put some Loctite. But the last thing you wanna do is go and strip them out because they are manufactured into the Can-Am. So you probably have to find a way to get a nut on the back side of those. And realistically, the only thing that's really holding on is a plastic skid plate. So it was never really intended to hold a lot of weight, which is why they put these other backing nuts on there and the bigger bolts. Now I'm gonna switch over to my half inch. I'm gonna snug these ones here up now you can probably go pretty tight on these there's no torque specs in any of the instructions for the kfi snow plow mount so i would just go until maybe as tight as you can get it but i definitely wouldn't go using a heavy duty impact on it good chance you'll pull those spacers through like i suggested to you guys earlier that i was a little concerned about that i uh might put another nut and washer on the back side. I mean, granted, you're not putting a Western V plow in front of this thing, so. <laughs> All right, so now they have these other holes up at the top that I was explaining to you. This is where your drill is going to come in handy. All right, so it appears that it's just plastic. I didn't hit anything, so. And I won't actually need that other drill bit either because I just kind of oboled it out a little bit. So the instructions are saying to use the 516's hardware, as shown in figure four here. And uh, that's gonna be the D, which is the, the top ones here that we just drilled through. And there's nothing here on the back, so. I mean, you gotta remember, this isn't a very heavy snow plow as it is. I actually have a Polaris snow plow that I got for on the front of this, but they mount right into these here tubes, so I'll be fine. I definitely noticed this hole in the front right underneath the winch. It's probably my best way of access to any of the hardware I just put in, whether it was those lower bolts or the plate that they provide you with for the half inch bolts. I guess they're 516, it's not half inch, but.
So there it is. Sorry to make you guys dizzy. But I told you, this is a Can-Am Commander 1000. This is the KFI snowplow mount. And uh, all it is is three bolts. These here were your factory ones that you took out and replaced with the ones they provided. Here's your 516 bolt that had the backers on them. And then here's your half inch. And uh, that should wrap that up. Okay, so now we got it all hooked up here. And uh, I actually had to modify my push tubes for this Polaris plow a little bit, but here we go. And then, uh, now I'm able to turn it whichever way I wish. Push the snow opposite directions. I went with the Polaris plow because I felt like it was probably the better quality of more than so than the KFI plow. And I found this second hand readily easy. So um, it's actually a Glacier 2 Pro and I have have the mounting bracket for it which is right here I guess this one on the front of a quad like a four-wheeler not real certain but this is a 60 inch plow my side by side is 40 or 58 so it's a little bit on the narrow side but uh, I think it's gonna work out okay plus Polaris makes extensions that go on the sides here they bolt on or you can get the little wings that go on whichever one so i can always extend the plow if i wish and if they don't already have a tube that goes inside that tube i can always weld something on it to fit through and make it more structural so i'm just going to kind of show you here how that fit in there like i said this is the kfi snow plow mount on the commander all right, that's my video. Thank you for watching.